Hello friends, Marcy here, and thank you for joining me as I share an unboxing of my newest um, pen from Pen Boutique. And of course we can see here it is a Pelican, and I just wanted to um, share that they've changed, a lot of the pen companies, uh, retailers, are changing their shipping um, practices. And this one uh, came in a, it's a very thick, very thick um, envelope it's all it's padded but it's like it's not the bubble wrap so it arrived safely not even a crumple on a corner in that on that box but um very excited to receive this is not a pen it's a pen that i've uh, considered and never really thought i would purchase but um an email notification about special pricing came about in my way and I thought wow that would be a great addition to my collection since I adore Pelican pens overall the most um, I've never had well let me open and we'll talk as I open this so this is a very familiar box it says passion on the inside it has this little pleather, which is not real leather, but very soft uh, pen sleeve. And voila. Oh, the gorgeousness. So this is um, the M400 in tortoiseshell brown. Uh, let's see. Do I need scissors? No. Okay. So let me remove the tag that says we have a medium nib. And each time I order a pen of the same manufacturer, uh, I try to get a different uh, nib, which I've been working on these Pelicans, Pelicans for some time, and I have quite the collection. Uh, variety of nib sizes. So let me pull out this one. It's going to be partnered with. <laughs> Gorgeous, right? <laughs> Zoom in here. Okay, so this is the uh, white tortoiseshell M400. And this one is a broad nib. I love it for putting down some gorgeous shading inks. Uh, I love the vertical striations on the barrels of these pens. And this one acts as like an ink window. You can actually see through some of these lines at the ink inside. Oh, let's leave that off for a minute. Let we see, check the grip section here. Okay, that's nice, yes. So these uh, vertical lines are transparent. I can see inside, I can see the piston movement. You may not be able to see that on camera, but I can see right through that and know how much um, ink I have in my barrel. These are such gorgeous colors. Oh my goodness. Love the tortoise shell because it shines like um, the abalone. All right. So there's um, not much comparison to do here. It's the same size pen, just different colors. We have uh, a broad nib here and a medium nib here. They are 14 karat, the 585 and the dual tone nib these nibs are smooth and no matter what size pelican nib i have they just write like butter amazing so i want to put this one away give this one a quick flush and ink it up so you can see the writing performance okay this will be quick uh, i just want to draw up some water and expel it just to give it a quick rinse and everything is running out clear nice i do love the size of the pelican pen in my hand as uh, like a pocket pen perfect size for me i love the weight um, i can write with it unposted i can write with it it easily posts and i can write with it posted um, aside from the smooth nibs one of my other most favorite things about the Pelican is the amount of twist to remove the cap. So not even one twist. 
rotation. That is one of my favorite features, aside from having a piston fill and not needing converters or cartridges. There's just so much to love about this pen. Okay, so the ink I chose today is one of my newest uh, Birmingham Ink Company or Pen Company's um, Distressed Leather. And I recently um, swatched that in a swatch video haul from with my Birmingham Birmingham uh, Pen Company inks. So I think this is going to look fabulous in here. Um, we'll have to bring out the white tortoise and give them both an opportunity to perform next to each other. So you can see how lovely they are. Let me cap this. And I don't know how I managed to get ink on the table, but I just want to wipe this grip section. Wow. Nice. Okay. Um, get you in closer here and we will start writing. Pelican. Wow, this ink is shading beautifully on this uh, Rhodia dot pad. And this is the Silveron model. Silveron. M400. Uh, 14K nib. Uh, tortoise shell brown. So all of my um, M200s, M205s are steel nibs. Just the two M400s that I have, uh, the white tortoise shell and the brown tortoise shell are the 14 karat steel, uh, 14 karat gold nibs. Sorry. Tortoise shell brown with a medium nib. And that is a very wet medium nib writer. Pelican uh, nibs are so smooth. So I want to, let's just record the ink as Birmingham. And that is a lot to write out, but that's okay. I want to put some ink on this paper and enjoy it. Birmingham Pen Company, or Pen Co., let's do, uh, Distressed Leather. It is a gorgeous shading ink. The brown and green tints are just beautiful. Um, it's green when it's wet, but as it's drying, you can see that it's a gorgeous brown. I hope you can see that. And this ink would also look fabulous in this pen, which I usually like to add um, Robert Ulster uh, Muddy Bucket to that one because it's a, a gorgeous shading ink as well. Okay, Distressed Leather. Let's look at some swirlies here. This being a 14K. Uh, the nib is soft and it does flex some. I'm not going to stress it out. Uh, absolutely no issues at all with this nib. It's fabulous. And if you're not aware, I do have um, a video that I recorded some time ago. Uh, if you're not aware that Pelican has a nib exchange program, if you order a new pen from a retailer, I'm going to record the date, um, and you're not happy with your nib size, you can send it to Pelican. You have to go onto their website and fill out the form. But you can send it to them, and they'll do a nib exchange for you for free. I did that with my uh, blue pastel. And um, it was an excellent experience. It took about uh, a week, 10 days, um, shipping both ways. And so just to mention that, I'm, I have no... Uh, ideas to do that with this nib. I'm totally satisfied with the medium and the way it's putting down gorgeous shading ink on the paper. So thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.